This is the Infinix Zero Ultra and today we would like to demonstrate how you can bypass the parental control function and turn it off on this device. So to start off, I would like to mention the most important thing that in the method that is going to be shown today, uh, you have to know the password, other uh, password to the child's account, I mean, so otherwise it will not work. So if you do know the, uh, well, child's password, or if you are a child, you know your account's password, just open settings, then enter the Google category. In here, go for the manage, I mean, First of all, let me show that the parental controls are actually active over here, as you can see they are. So uh, now you're gonna tap on the manage your Google account option over here. Once the uh, Google account settings page will load, you gotta open the data and privacy section, scroll the page all the way down. And prior to uh, proceeding with the process, I also gotta mention that in order to bypass the parental control option, we will need to temporarily delete the Google account that is associated with it, but uh, do not be afraid, we will recover and restore the account right after. So no worries on this end, <laughs> you do not uh, have to permanently get rid of the Google account, so you'll get it back in a few moments after switching off the parental controls. So let's tap on the delete your Google account uh, option, enter the password, because as I mentioned at the start, uh, in order for the method that I'm showing you to work. You gotta know the password, otherwise you will not be able to execute it. So after you have entered your password, just, uh, well, if you want to, you can read everything that is written right here, check those two boxes and confirm the account deletion. Now we'll wait. Uh, as you can see, uh, the Google returns an error, some error occurred or something went wrong, wrong to be exact which basically means that we have successfully achieved our goal and deleted the Google account. Now, if we'll go to the settings and enter the Google category, we'll see that not only uh, no account is currently associated with the device, but also if we'll open up the parental controls, we'll see that it uh, is, well, switched up since it suggested we set it up. Otherwise, if, well, if, if we already had those this feature enabled or this feature active, it would, wouldn't definitely ask us to well, set it up. So uh, the first uh, part of this method is successfully implemented, which uh, is the parental control deactivation. Now all that it's left to do is to reactivate or restore the Google account that we have just deleted. It is a very simple thing to do. Open up the Play Store app, sign in, enter the, uh, well, deleted account credentials, so I'll start with typing in the email address. Then, uh, as you can see, you get this this account with recently deleted and maybe recoverable message, which is which identifies that you are on the right path. Then click on next. Enter the account password. Uh, we'll do it off the screen real quick. Uh, once I've entered the password, I've gotten the something went wrong message, which is not a big deal at all. It might happen uh, sometimes. All that you gotta do is to re-enter the credentials once again. So let me do that swiftly now. So this time it uh, went through, so uh, from here you want to tap on the I agree button, then uh, well, accept every Google service or whatever terms it uh, asks you to. And that will be it, the account has been successfully recovered, the parental controls are uh, well successfully uh, deactivated, the account uh, has been uh, well reassociated with the device, so great success I would assume. Already, so that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.